right now I'm cooking a steak, I fried the steak with some garlic, some sweet onions, green pepper, and also making a rice and couscous blend with kale. I'm actually steaming the kale down. I'm going to take a peek at the kale. This is how it looks. And then also I have some roasted potatoes in the oven. I'm going to take a peek at it. I got it on 400. Some nice, nice seasoning. A little bit of oil on it. So they cook down. This is parchment paper. Also known as wax paper. parchment paper in there. Just cover it with some foil to sort of cook all around at an even temperature. I'll tighten it up in just a minute. So I put a little um, Kerrygold Irish butter with canola oil. It's like the best butter on earth. That's the bit I'm using. So just cooking the vegetables down some. Now I'm going to just sit there and put the steaks back on. I'm just lay the steaks right on top. Let it cook down. I'm going to, it's going to make a nice gravy. Spread it around evenly. So I'm put it on low. Pretty much done. Just everything just to start cooking on a higher temperature. So looking for my lids now. So basically that's it. That's what I wanted to do for my Sunday dinner. Do a basic dinner, steak, rice couscous mix. Well, actually it's a brown rice and a couscous mix. So, more like a healthier option. Kale being my vegetable. And we have potatoes. Throw some potatoes. This is the kale. Put a little garlic and onion, natural seasoning. Put some chicken stock in there. Could have used the vegetable stock, but I decided to use chicken stock. Just want to like a little bit more salty flavor. Um, I want to show you that I used a, a new seasoning. The original Creole seasoning. I was recommended it by um, an officer I was in conversation with. And uh, she recommended that the seasoning was everything. She did try it on her green. So I said, well, um, I did taste them. They tasted really, um, really good. So I said, well, let me try. There's no MSG. Make sure you guys know that. And I will let you know how it turns out. done I put it in the rice cooker uh, it didn't take that long uh, just make sure your measurements is right with uh, the amount of rice and couscous you're going to mix together with the amount of liquid you're going to put in there so um, I think I used about one cup of rice about a cup of couscous 
and then equal to that I used about four about about four cups of liquid so about I think I used a cup of um, maybe a cup and a half of the the chicken stock and then a about a, yeah about two cups of um, water so uh, here you go this I put it in a black and decker rice cooker plus um, had it for a while but um, it does really well uh, it's amazing I have warm setting and um, a cook setting which which is on high and you can leave it on warm you know to keep your rice warm it depends on how long are you going to come in um, you're going to eat you know and keep it warm so that's that's pretty much that hey you guys I put in uh, some blueberry cornbread so blueberry flavored cornbread and I put my own mixture to it just to have like a cake like taste to it so I put some uh, brown sugar in it and I put some vanilla maybe about a teaspoon of vanilla in it um, probably about a I want to say half a cup of sugar uh, and also um, just use the regular ingredients to the cornbread mix which is Jiffy I used uh, some egg, well, one egg I used about a third of milk and I used some butter I do like to use butter in mine again I used the Kerry Gold and I just mixed it all up put it on a temperature of 400 uh, got that cooking uh, rising pretty well got the, the uh, roasted potatoes on the bottom that's why I use the parchment paper it kind of cuts the time in half with cooking the potatoes so uh, I used the Lipton onion flavor mixture with the roasted potatoes and they're coming out really well uh, it's pretty much done I'm just gonna let them sit in the oven for a few more minutes that's gonna um, top the dinner for tonight so I do have Again, the steak, I have the couscous rice mixture, I have the roasted potatoes with the kale, and also I do have the blueberry muffins.